This is Venice. All right. Hello, and thank you for joining us on KTLA.com. This is Colton Von Pertz aboard Sky 5 with my pilot, Derek Bell. Uh, we are following this pursuit of an assault with deadly weapon suspect involved in a shooting. They shot two people at Alameda and the 10 freeway just a few minutes ago. LAPD in pursuit of this vehicle, getting on the freeway at the 10. And now we are at Venice and Victoria here in Los Angeles. You can see the large contingency of units behind them. It's that white SUV you see in the center of the screen. What we're hearing is that there's... Uh, possibly uh, three suspects inside the vehicle, and uh, they do believe that the weapon's still in there as well, so it's a very dangerous situation here as LAPD attempts to apprehend these suspects. Northbound Crenshaw from uh, Venice Boulevard here, uh, going about, uh, let's see, 40 miles an hour here in this residential area. Well, what makes this tough for the officers on the ground and from the air is that uh, you have these extremely tinted windows on this vehicle you see here. So uh, this, the officers can't see what's going on in that vehicle if they're fiddling around for a weapon, what's going on in there. So um, this this adds a level. Uh, we have some traffic ahead. Let's see. Um, stop traffic. Going to go down that center divider, see what we do here. We have an officer right behind him. Still down that center divider, green light now, so that's going to help. Let's see what he does here when it comes up to the intersection. Left-hand turn, left-hand turn on Olympic from Crenshaw. Let's, we have the opportunity to see in that front window. I'm going to double in here and see if we can see uh, anyone inside. We do have a driver, and I do see a passenger in there, uh, but with those tinted windows, it's hard to see much else. I'm going to pull back out so we have a little bit wider of a shot. What you could see is that the uh, units have backed off. This this driver is really, really moving here. Die, door open, threw something out of the vehicle. High rate of speed, 90 miles an hour here on this street, passing vehicles. Luckily, no cross traffic, and we have some green lights here. Still going super high rate of speed, 60 miles an hour now, weaving around these cars all the way from that left lane over to the right. Still in the 60 mile an hour range here on this road, just missing that car that was transferring into the line. Wow, slamming on the brakes there, just missing that truck and through Highland here on Olympic Westbound. All right, and now we are turning uh, right onto um, Mansfield from Olympic Northbound into a residential track. Hopefully the suspects slow down in this area because uh, there might be pedestrians out. That's what the big worry here is in these residential tracks. But we were in this area a little earlier today as well. You can see that unit right behind them. So that they're still here, they're still in pursuit. They're not gonna let these suspects get away as we are now on 9th Street and Citrus. Slowing down again, coming up on Highland through Highland on 9th Street. It looks like what we're or what we're hearing is the, the suspects threw something out of the car earlier on at Olympic. That was money. They threw out a large amount of money onto the onto the street there when that door opened. We saw just a flash of that money flying out into the lanes. But uh, this pursuit is still going on. They have officers trying to take care of that that now evidence that's in the middle of the street there. But now we are back on Olympic from Longwood. Suspects slowing down here in the middle of the lanes. You see the large number of units here on scene. Typically, a pursuit only has three police vehicles involved in it. But this one, it seems like there's units on every corner of this pursuit. You see doors opening. Uh, they're going to take that percentage of, uh, position of advantage as this pursuit has come to what seemingly is an end. But we have heard this uh, since this pursuit started. The, the suspects stopping and starting the pursuit, coming to a stop. The, Officers get out of their vehicles and then them speeding off once again. But you can see all those officers taking uh, cover behind their doors in a position of uh, concealment just in case uh, there is a weapon still in that vehicle that can be used against them. They are protected. You can see the passenger of that vehicle. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Um, you can see the passenger out the wind, hands out the window. It looks like they're opening that door now. They're going to have that passenger get out of it. What they typically like to do is have the driver get out of the vehicle first in these situations so that they know that the, the car can't go anywhere else. So now you can see um, we're getting a little bit of gas. You see a hand outside the window of the driver's side. So what they're going to do is have uh, all those hands stick out of the vehicle, that door open, 
and then they're going to ask that driver to get out of the vehicle with their hands up. You can see more uh, evidence falling out of that vehicle there. It looks like a money once again. Let's see what happens. Door is open. Driver is getting out of the vehicle. Hands aren't up. Had to fix his, fix his pants. But now we have his hands up, backing up. So there's different ways that the police departments can't handle this. They can have the suspect walk back to them. Often they have the suspects lay down on the street until they can come up to the suspects. See that money blowing in the wind. They're going to have that suspect walk away from the vehicle, hands up, and then lay down on the ground until they can have an arrest team come up and arrest the suspect. Now I can tell you from up here at, uh, let's see, 1,200 feet over the scene, we are sitting at about 85 degrees uh, air temperature in the helicopter. It's got to be near 100 degrees down there on the ground. So those, uh, that's not very fun being on the ground there. We can see that second suspect, that passenger getting out of the vehicle, same, um, same situation as before, hands up, backing away from the door so they can't get back in the vehicle. And they're going to have them sidestep over away from the vehicle and more than likely lay down right next to the, the driver of the vehicle, if not back up to the arrest team. But we still see them sidestepping away, looking away from the officers. And what we'll see here is that suspect kneel down and then lay down once again. Now, we did hear that there were three suspects in this vehicle, so they're going to have to make some more call outs and see if they can get a suspect out of that back seat of the vehicle, um, especially with those dark tinted windows. They don't want to approach that vehicle because they don't know who's back there, uh, but they will if they have to. But uh, right now, time is on the police officer's sides here. LAPD has done this multiple, multiple times. This is what they're trained for. They have all the time in the world. They're in the Pacific position of advantage in this situation. And so they're now going to approach that vehicle and clear that vehicle of any other suspects or, uh, or dangerous items. And you can see the arrest teams there uh, still locked on those suspects, just in case there's any funny movements. But they're going to clear that vehicle, make sure there's no one else inside, back away from the vehicle. And then now we're going to see an arrest team approach the suspects and take these suspects into custody. There you go. Passenger is now detained. You can still see the officer's uh, watching the vehicle, and now an arrest team is approaching the driver there at the bottom left of your screen, taking that driver into custody as well. So all this started in uh, central Los Angeles, Alameda and the 10 freeway, where two uh, victims were shot by s possibly suspects in this vehicle. LAPD uh, began a pursuit of this vehicle with those suspects inside, now ending here at Olympic and Longwood. You can see the officers there picking up that evidence. All that is tracked. Sure, looks like it. I can't get any closer than this. Yeah, it looks like maybe hundreds. Yeah, we got a shot of it. Um, it's probably all picked up by now. You're fine.
Uh, can we kind of swing around and try to get that license plate? Eight golf, golf whiskey four three four. W is in whiskey. Eight golf golf W four three four. Pretty sure that's a Bentley, not a Nissan. I could be wrong. Alright, anything else you need?